What's up, y'all? It's Akira, and I'm back with another video. So today, I'm going to be talking to y'all about what it's like to work at McDonald's and like the hiring process and orientation. And I'm, I'm also going to talk about pros and cons too, okay? So let's get started just with the hiring process. So you have to be 16, of course, to start working at McDonald's. And then, you know, once you turn 16, you can go ahead and put in your application. I put in my application through Indeed. But sometimes you can call the store and then they'll give you a certain website. I forgot what it's called, but it's something like McDonald'sHire.com or something. I'm not sure, but I just went through Indeed. It was really easy to go through Indeed. After you apply, they should usually, they'll give you a call and set a date and a time for you to be interviewed. But I started working there two months after I turned 16. The store that I work at, I had to keep calling like twice a week just to like and i would call and ask them about the status like what's the status of my application like has it been seen yet they finally called me back in december i turned 16 in october so they called me in december and told me well asked me if i could come in at this time on this day for an interview you know i said yeah the girl was happy don't make any coins anyway so yeah so they set a date and time for my interview and i had to bring in some um my work permit from the school and some other stuff like social security. I forgot some other things and you have some documentation and just bring in your work um, document from school. The interview is not hard at all, okay? But the person, my manager that interviewed me, she really liked to see, you know, she wanted good answers. She didn't want you like, it was okay if you messed up, but don't just not give any answer do not say i don't know just be confident they love to see smiles and eye contact smile smile smiles is what will get you most of the time so smiles eye contact and just good average answers it don't have to be nothing crazy nothing long it's, just, it's really simple questions like for example one of the questions that i was asked was what is the difference between um something that's sanitized or something that's just clean you know simple stuff like that or another one was like just describe a time where you took leadership in an activity or something simple questions just don't like it's okay if you mess up but just don't give don't not give an answer you know that's bad grammar but you know what i mean just give an answer do not say i don't know don't stay stuck the whole time just give an answer those are really simple questions so do not be nervous about the interview just remember to smile and be confident and be on time because if you're late or if you're not going to be able to make it you need to call days ahead and try to reschedule your interview okay and if you're late you better have a good reason because they look at that too they think you know they're late for the interview they're gonna be late for their shift so just be on top for your interview have confidence and just remember to smile and give good answers okay after you the interview and if you get hired then um the person who was interviewing you, they will set you up a day to come in for orientation, okay? During orientation, you will get your um your training days and your training hours. So at my store, I don't know if it's every store, but at my store, we train for four days and four hours each day. And while you're training, you'll learn, you know, all the positions that you will be working in, like... You can either go for service or for grill. Mostly girls are usually in service and the guys are usually in grill, but it really doesn't matter, you know. If you want to be in grill, you can apply for grill. Just apply for which position you want to be in, okay? So, I only work service. So, for service, for example, you'll learn the area where you hand out the food to the customer. We call that the hole. Um, you'll learn back drive. That's where you cash out, you take the money, and you know, Take the customer's money and then pay for the food. Um, you learn how to take orders. That's like the biggest thing they might draw you in is taking orders. Like in the beginning, you're gonna think you won't get it and you're gonna think it's kind of confusing, but trust me, taking orders is basic is all about memorization. That's all it's about. Knowing like where everything is 
and knowing how to turn them into meals, how to take off mistakes if you make a mistake. It's really simple. You'll get it. You just have to keep practicing. Like just make sure that they're um that they keep putting you in those positions so you can actually keep practicing how to take orders. Okay. It's really simple. You'll also learn how to make the drinks as you go along, how to make the ice creams, the McFlurries, the ice cream cones, the shakes, um, frappes, your hot drinks like your hot mochas, hot chocolates, macchiatos, all of that stuff, iced coffees. So you'll learn how to make the drinks as well. Training is usually well, you know, you have a trainer those whole four days for the whole four hours. Just hope that you have a, like a really good trainer. I had a really, really good trainer. Good trainers to me, they're nice at the same time because like we already don't know nothing when we're coming in. So why would you want some like you'll feel bad, you know, if somebody get annoyed with you because you're messing up. It's going to happen. You know, we just started working. So hopefully you get a really nice trainer. If not, just ignore them and keep doing what you got to do, okay? So listen to them, but don't listen to if they get annoyed or make smart remarks, okay? Another good trainer is the person who's like, asks questions like, how do you feel about this? Or can you show me where this is? So I like trainers who ask questions. I also like trainers who, um, who like, they correct you, but they correct you in a nice way. And they show you at that same time how is the correct way to do it so back to the orientation so yeah you get your training days and then i just told y'all how training is like i just jumped to that but anyway so also with orientation they'll walk you through the store and they'll introduce you to the workers who are already there and the managers so they'll walk you through the store and they'll show you where everything is such as like the sink area where you wash your hands the freezer and the cooler where we store certain things they'll show you where the stock room is where they keep the cups, lids, sauces, all that stuff. They'll show you where the break room is, where to clock in at, the fry station, and they'll show you all the positions that you'll be working in, or that you'll be training in, so yeah. So during orientation, they just show you around the store and introduce the people, basically. And then tell you what you need to bring on the first day. They'll give you a uniform at orientation also. They give you a full uniform. You just have to go buy your own pants. They just give you a, the shirt and the hat and your name tag and an apron if y'all use aprons. I guess we could get into the pros and cons since we got the hire and stuff out the way. So we're going to start with pros first. So I have a few pros about working at McDonald's. The first pro is that you will get flexible hours. So like they know that most of McDonald's workers are still in school. So therefore you will have flexible hours. You will get long shifts also, but your hours will be flexible. Like you, you'll you have two to three days off a week. Um, you know, if you're in school, they'll put you after school, like at four. If you get out early, tell them what time you get out and they'll put you a little bit after you get out so you can start working after school. It's just really flexible hours. Like also, whenever you're working at McDonald's, you know, you work around out of people all the time so it's really easy to get somebody to take your shift if needed like you know for example if i go see my schedule in the crew room and i'll be like dang you know i can't work this day cause i got this going on you can have three more service people on the front i can ask one of them like would you like to swap with me or would you be able to take my shift like it's so easy to swap shifts with somebody because like it's they're easy access okay because you almost always have almost all of them on Instagram or Snapchat because it's most likely people that you already know or just people that you will grow a bond with. Like, that's another pro. You will grow um, a bond with people, with the people that you work with because you see them, like, five days a week. It's, like, it's going to be hard not to, not to get attached, but, like, y'all just have, like, that connection. Like, probably Joe's so y'all working to make the time go by faster. Sometimes y'all might talk about the, cu about the same customers, like, you know, Y'all girl connection. So that's another pro. Like it won't always be boring if you will, like if you grow a connection and a bond with people, it won't be boring. A third pro is the free meal. So I don't know if it's every McDonald's, but the one that I work in, we get a free meal every day that we work basically. But we used to have a limit on the meal. Like the meal couldn't be over 750, I think. But now, we just have to get certain items like i know we get meals that can actually be put into meals like for example you know how a double cheeseburger can be put into a meal by pressing the make meal button we have to get burgers like a quarter pounder a fish a spicy stuff that could actually be put into make meal 
like that but you do get a free meal you know i'm happy about that so that's another pro instant pay so i don't know if instant pay is like with most companies now i feel like instant pay is only is mostly with fast food companies like you know like burger king sonic papa i think it's only with fast food companies but basically instant pay is if you worked today tomorrow at 10 a.m it will give you a choice if you want to take out half of what you made the day before. Like for example, if I made $60 today, tomorrow at 10 a.m., it will give me a choice to take out $30. I don't have to take it out if you don't want to because that $30 will come out of your upcoming check. That's the only thing. That's why you don't want to um, use Instant Pay too, too much because it will start to, you know, it's coming from your check. But if you really, really need money at that moment, that's all like um, instant pay, you know, you will have money the day after you work. You have an option to take out money. We're going to move on to cons. I couldn't think of any more pros. I only have two cons. I couldn't think of all the cons either. I don't know why. The biggest thing, the biggest con is the customer's attitude sometimes. Everybody is not so happy all the time or just nice. Like, everybody is not nice. It's not really hard to be nice, but everybody's not nice. Sometimes, like, customers, they will make you mad. You just have to learn how to be patient. You have to. Man, if you're working at any fast food place, you just have to learn how to have patience. Because sometimes these customers, they just talk to you anyway, especially the fact that you're young. You know, they could just pull you any which way and you're not going to say anything of course you don't want to say anything because you don't want to let a person you know ruin your whole day you know get you fired you know so you just have to learn how to be patient or just sometimes you know if a customer has an attitude with you you can either ignore them or you can kill them with kindness to be like you know just be nice to them back sometimes it makes them mad so just kill them with kindness or you could just get your manager tell what's going on and shit handle it so you don't want to argue with the customers i know it's hard but you really got to try your best to just control your temper and to just have patience and be like i'm not gonna let them ruin my whole shift because i got like five more hours to go so just think about it like that okay the second con i have is that sometimes if the labor is too high labor is like i don't really know the real definition of labor but i know it's when like i think it's when we're not making enough money for everybody that's on the clock. I think that's what it is. So labor is high. They they will either start sending people on breaks. And, you know, of course, breaks come out of, you know, you don't get paid for breaks. You, you're you basically clocked off when you go on a break. So they might send you, on my store, we go like, sometimes we go on, we go on 35s, 45s. 35s or 45s mostly. Sometimes an hour, it is really, 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 really slow. Okay. If you already had a break sometimes and labor is still high, they will send you home. That's the only thing I don't like about working fast food because sometimes it's too many people on clock at one time. So sometimes, you know, I'm sent home and then I lose hours because it's too many people there at one time. So that's another con that I don't like about working at fast food. That's all I have to talk about. Um, I want to say that my first check at McDonald's, I think, okay, because you have four training days and we get paid i can say that too we get paid every other week you know bi-weekly every other friday or thursday at 12 a.m whatever friday the minimum wage is 7.25 i think it recently bumped up a little bit i'm not sure but whenever i started working i started off at 7.25 my hours started in the middle of a pay period so i only had 16 hours for my first check because i started in the middle of the pay period only it was only one something because they take out for taxes too so my my first check was one something i don't remember the exact amount but it was one something you know as you work more of course and you get better at working certain positions they will give you more hours of course if they're not giving you more hours like you could you could simply like just ask the scheduling manager hey can i um start getting a little bit more hours like explain to them like if you work another job if you go to school, you know, because maybe they'll put you some more hours in between that. I just want to talk to y'all about how I feel about working at McDonald's and what it's like. 
it's not a hard job at all like i just said you have to have patience with customers just always walk into work with a positive mindset because sometimes it is draining you know dealing with people all day but just keep a positive mindset and don't let the little things ruin your day you know you're in and out you're doing it for you you know once you come back home be like yes be like yes i made my coins for today so yeah so just keep pushing through it but um remember don't be nervous for your interview it's very simple and just keep smiling during the interview and give good answers really an easy job you know especially us teenagers it's an easy job to start off with so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll catch y'all in the next one.